what is good guys this is Venge here actually bringing you guys some gameplay yes and you're like what Venge doing gameplay videos again Nani? i know i know i feel that way because it has been an absolutely long time since i've done it but you know i've been struggling with my identity what do i want to do with my youtube what do i want to do with my youtube because honestly i have no idea you know, I tried a various a number of things that I wanted to go for, and there's some things that just got in the way of that, and so I'm still, you know, I was still struggling from that um, writer's block on what I wanted. And I finally made the decision um, in regards to what I wanted to do with my YouTube channel, and I just told myself, yo, I know that my passion is streaming on Twitch right now, because I absolutely love it. I mean, Twitch is that thing that gives me tons of tools for what I want to do, and that is community building. And YouTube doesn't necessarily provide me the tools necessary in order to make that happen. So that is one of the reasons why I made my choice to move over to Twitch. And I know it's crazy. There is a lot of people that want know me from my videos, but ever since I moved over to live streaming, especially changing up the kind of content that I do, um, I don't see them anymore, and that's fine because they were more into I, like the Naruto videos, the um, you know the anime content, and that's fine. That's their choice, you know but i have to move on to what i really want to do uh, my overall goal was to actually build a community and through um, anime gaming i really wasn't able to do that especially when it comes to building a more positive community the anime gaming community is a bit too toxic for that so i decided to switch gears and that's one reason why i moved over to live streaming so long ago and um not only that i want the live stream games that would actually help me do something more positive with my channel which was to you know do nintendo stuff nintendo games is fun you don't have that toxic atmosphere all the time but it always depends on the game so i mean you have to be aware of the expectations of whatever community that you want to be a part of. And so I decided to work with the Nintendo side of things. And Nintendo has just been a wonderful experience for me when it comes to building a better community. And I stuck to that. But unfortunately, you know, through some um, issues, ouch, some issues um involving my youtube ever since youtube made some drastic changes those changes negatively impacted my channel and made it difficult for me to progress so i had no choice but to move over to twitch and twitch provides the necessary tools needed in order to build a community community building is the thing that i care more about it's not about outrageous views it's not about anything like that it's more about creating a community that i desire and i get that with twitch i'm not gonna lie though i felt like when it came to streaming on youtube in the early stages it was great and i actually established a wonderful community through youtube gaming but ever since youtube gaming was no longer a thing it was more of an afterthought well a lot of that changed um my youtube was doing a lot of things that i wasn't happy about so i was like okay i gotta make a move i know it's not going to be the most popular move but i had to do it and and i did various things to try to get back into youtube but nothing worked and i feel like one of the issues why that is is because YouTube's algorithm has changed so much to the point where in order to grow, you have to do more trendy stuff. But unfortunately for me, I'm not the type of content creator that wants to dab into all of the trends. But that's kind of like the direction that YouTube is headed. You have to do things that's trending, you know, gaming news and 
controversial things and stuff like that but that's not what i built my nintendo community around so that would mean i would have to completely change everything so it's it's been a struggle and so the, the decision that i made now the stutter though <laughs> the decision that i made now is to just focus more on making videos that i want to make that's the overall goal now you know like i guess i'm not worried about a direction anymore right now it's more about a make videos for the people that enjoy my videos whether it's anime content whether it's nintendo whatever it is that i feel i'm going to do because the thing is if people enjoy you for who you are then you don't have to worry about what game you're playing um but to be real the fact that i have been uh very uh what's the word I'm trying to think of a good word to use for this i have been very hesitant well, not even hesitant. I guess I just haven't been very motivated to do YouTube videos because everything that I would try would get shot down in some kind of way. So it's like, it's diff it was very difficult for me um, when it came to what do I want to do with YouTube? It, it's just, there's nothing I can really do with my YouTube that would guarantee um a positive direction especially if it doesn't like the things that i should be doing doesn't align with my goals and unfortunately the things that i have to do in order to grow the, my channel um it doesn't align and then the people that you know are a part of my uh youtube channel already well they're not getting notified of anything even my videos so it's like it's i'm in a tough boat when it comes to uh you know youtube um but hey if you guys want to see more streams from me you definitely want to follow me on twitch because that's where my streams are would i ever stream on youtube again i'm not going to rule it out it just depends on the circumstance I mean, and right now, I don't have a reason to consistently stream on t on uh, YouTube yet. You know, it's all about Twitch right now. And that's, I just got to be transparent here. I have to be transparent. Uh, I'm, I'm no longer, as you could see, <laughs> I'm no longer doing, um, I'm no longer doing those kinds of update videos because I see those as pointless at this as pointless at this point. If there's anything that I ever need to talk about, hey, I could do that while doing a gameplay of something. So I just decided to slap on some Super Mario World and share um, with you guys my vision for my YouTube. And this is where I stand when it comes to my YouTube. It's like that's what i'm going to do um so i hope to see you around on whatever videos that i'm doing but hey i wanted to share this information with you all now in regards oh god see i messed up already in regards to what i want to do like other things that i'm planning to do with this channel well hey i know exactly where i want to go in terms of what kind of content i'm planning on giving you guys uh when it's available i know i've been i'm a huge advocate of persona 5 and um persona 5 um royal is a ginormous game i don't know if anyone would be willing to watch that on youtube for the most part i would probably more than likely like live stream royal especially since that's a game that's pretty good for live streaming uh so i'll be doing that on twitch but as far as persona 5 and youtube i would i'm thinking about what am i thinking about i'm thinking about uh i'm thinking about the uh persona 5 scramble that that's what i'm thinking about right now i'm thinking about persona 5 scramble because um that game looks hype it's 
it's um, going to be a story driven game. It's not 100% RPG, it's more action. And then on top of that, it would be an easier game to actually make content on. I won't have to do as much cutting out all the time. Because let's face it, when it comes to, oh, I got to go back. When it comes to doing Royal, it's going to be a lot of cutting out because you want to avoid, you know, like uh, dead air and stuff like that. So it's a bit, it's a bit tedious when it comes to making Royal content. But hey, if people ask for it, if enough people want it, hey, I'll do it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's all i'm saying but uh i'm really looking forward to making videos on youtube again uh bringing you guys content like i used to do it's just now i have to find out what i really want to do and persona 5 scramble that's a let's play that i definitely want to dab into because i love persona 5 and it would be a um easy game for me to do what about uh i'm thinking about other titles as well not just persona 5. um uh, i'm thinking about demon slayer yeah <laughs> i know once again it's an anime game Th that kind of could potentially go against what i wanted to do but the thing is when it comes to community building but the thing is i'm not gonna lie demon slayer looks like a hype game uh, to play because I love Demon Slayer and those would be like easy bake oven videos <laughs> I'm not even going to lie so I would definitely dab into that game just because it would be easy to make like a quick consistent flow of content for you guys so I'm looking forward to Demon Slayer as well um, as far as Pokemon I was thinking about um, doing maybe a let's play of um, Pokemon uh, I just don't know what I want to do I'm thinking I might consider continuing with Emerald since I have since I've done a bit of that but haven't done very much since then um, so I'll probably wind up getting back into doing that stupid purple fish I hate these fish man if I had the fire flower, I would have turned them into fish. I mean, JJ's fish, man. I'll, I'll freaking deep fry them, send them to JJ's fish, bro. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, that pretty much concludes uh, what I wanted to talk to you about, talk to you guys about when it comes to the kind of content that I want to bring to you all on YouTube. If you have any suggestions or any comments that you would like to make regarding my decision hey put them in the comment section below and i'll be happy to respond to them um because um yo i'm just trying to find a way to be happy on my youtube channel i'm already happy with my twitch you know i already know what direction i want to go with that and i've been enjoying everything it has been going on with Twitch because, I mean, Twitch has been absolutely phenomenal in terms of what I wanted. And one thing about, um, one thing about, um, content creation, when you find that one thing that's meeting your needs, you're going to stick with that. You're going to stick with that in, uh, and what's the and then uh one thing that i will say about that like what's the point of doing content as a content creator if you're not doing what you like and it's important for content creators to do that because you can't please everybody you want to but you can't and if you try to you're just going to burn yourself out you're going to be frustrated with yourself and what's happening with your content because nothing's going the way you would like. And me, I would rather do what I like, do what I want to do so that my frustrations doesn't become, what's the word, doesn't manifest itself 
in my streams and in my videos so that's very important to me and so i wanted to rap to you guys about that as i'm playing super mario world um <laughs> maybe i'll do some more super mario world content as well from time to time i mean i enjoy this game as a freaking chill game and then it's retro goodness who doesn't like mario right who freaking doesn't i know there's probably somebody out there that probably doesn't but everybody knows who this man is this man has too much clout mario got them clout coins bro that's all i gotta say about that mario had ah mario has them clout coins man um man but i'm telling you it's just like okay when it comes to making videos you always got to have a plan that's one of the crazy things about video creation is like if you don't have a plan you're just you're just i don't know you're just in the middle of nowhere moving in the, the same direction it's kind of like when you play those video games where you're in a maze right and the maze is so amazing that you find yourself in an endless loop and if you go into content creation without some kind of plan without some kind of goal that's what basically happens and that's what happened when uh to my youtube it was like oof it was like i don't i i'm walking around in circles i'm in a desert walking around in circles how am I going to get out of this deadly circle of doom that's um, ruining my mindset? Helping me um, distract myself from what's important and what is it I want to do. So, I mean, I'm really glad that I was able to make this video and talk about this with you all. Um, I wonder how much time I have on this video here. Is it like 20 minutes? Where the heck is the timer? I don't even have my phone on me. Uh, but I'm really excited about what... Dang comment. About what I'm planning to do. Um, and for those of you that are wondering what the world is all this stuff is, this on screen. Yeah, that's my Twitch overlay. I hope you like that spit. It looked clean, don't it? I made that spit myself um and th that this that's just a little something to give you an idea of what i've been up to when it comes to my twitch i've been constantly updating everything Ugh. <laughs> messing up like i've been constantly updating everything putting money into my streams and doing extra for the viewers from gifted sub giveaways that i pay out of my own money among other things and i'm like super is like excited about the things that i'm about to do like i'm gonna tell you right now like as of today like later tonight you know i'm planning on um doing some community building you know with a just chatting stream and just talking to the community about what games they would like to see in the community choice streams that's coming because like we've did a plethora of them, but the problem is I need to get some games voted on so uh, we can finally get that underway because we have no, no games for the voting poll. So I'm really excited to actually do this stream because it just gives me that opportunity yet again to engage with those that watch my stream so we can figure out what we want to do as a community and whew, i'm so hyped for that because i haven't gotten into it yet so i figured this would be a cool way to do it so i'm freaking hyped for that um and i hope to see you guys there when that stream goes down so to give you an idea of my time frame the time of when i stream i stream eight o'clock central standard time to 11 o'clock p.m so 8 p.m. Central Standard Time to 11 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Those are the times that I stream. And I hope to see you there. Oh, snap. Oh, boy. Let's freaking go, boy. 
<laughs> Koopa, you are done. Like, once again. Like, Mario's a bully, man. Mario's a super bully. He bullies all Koopas. And it's funny, like, now that I think about all those crazy theories that people have about Mario actually being the bad guy. That he was actually responsible for a lot of the chaos. And uh, Bowser was actually a hero. I'm like, what? Like, what the heck are all these theories about Mario being a bully and all that? I'm like, are you serious right now? <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm screwing all of this up. All right. There we go. We got a one up there. And once again, and once again, guys, make sure to tell me what you would like to see. I want to get your viewpoints on this as well, especially those of you that actually um, watch my content. Just tell me what you want, because if you don't tell me, how am I supposed to know? So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video here because this video was primarily to kind of like get you guys up to speed on what's going to happen for the year 2021. And so I look forward to seeing you guys wherever I see you. Um, thank you for watching this video in its entirety if you reach this point. And if you enjoyed this content, hey, make sure to hit that subscription button leave a like and hey if you would like to see me live there'll be a link to my twitch in the description section below and i look forward to seeing you guys next time peace and god bless thank you